Welcome to the Plenipotentiary Conference, PP22, ITU's major conference every four years here in Bucharest in Romania, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Her Excellency Emilia Stoimenova Du, who is the Minister of Digital Transformation for the Republic of Slovenia. Minister, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me. Now, I'd like to start off a very quick question, and, I know, and I'm sure you know the answer. How can governments bring the benefits of digital transformation to their citizens? Uh, unfortunately, the answer is not so quick, <laughs> so it's a, it's a longer one. Uh, digital transformation is very important and is changing our lives. Uh, but uh, if we want to make sure that the government is doing its best, then for sure we uh, need to consider connectivity. And as a, minister, as a minister in Slovenia, I'm very happy to share uh, that uh, we have already received our national plan for gigabit infrastructure. So by 2025, we, will, uh, we plan to cover 100% all uh, urban municipalities with uh, high-speed broadband, and then by uh, 2030, also uh, the rest of the area, so the rural areas as well. Uh, another thing what we are doing uh, in Slovenia, access to the internet is a universal service, so everybody has the right to be connected and we are very proud uh, to share that as well. So as mentioned, connectivity is definitely the first thing, uh, but then we need to consider equal access as well. So we need uh, to consider that no matter uh, whether you're living in an urban or rural area, whether you are a woman or male, whether you are um, young people or older uh, persons, so uh, they all need to have access to the internet. And uh, we have many projects. Uh, we are all. We also have an act uh, on uh, digital uh, inclusivity uh, in our country. Uh, so for us, it's very important not only the infrastructure but the, uh, also the other access to the internet as well. Now, technologies and connectivity are important, of course, but in order to make digital transformation successful, we should invest above all in, in people and skills uh, to be able to use these technologies. How do you tackle this issue in Slovenia? Uh, definitely. So first, uh, we need to start with the children, with the young ones. And uh, we need to uh, make sure that they learn how to think logically, how to solve problems, because this is the basic when we are speaking about developing digital competences and skills. Uh, then uh, we are aware that the labor market is changing, so there are major changes uh, nowadays. Uh, we need to be aware of these changes. Everybody should be, uh, should be aware of that. The employees, the employers, and of course the education system, we, we must be prepared for that. Uh, so uh, lifelong learning is definitely a thing to consider. Uh, and then once more, um, the problem in Slovenia is uh, that we have this uh, uh, gender digital divide. Not so many women are involved uh, and uh, we would like to change that with different projects, uh, with uh, different campaigns, raising awareness and uh, this is also I'm very happy that ITU is uh, so active in uh, this uh, field uh, and I applaud to the network of women uh, that is uh, existing in the ITU and they have uh, so many campaigns uh, to uh, make sure that uh, they breach the gender divide. Indeed, that's very much one of our major preoccup preoccupations and, and we hope that, uh, uh, that we will be able to bring more uh, women to the conversation and bring women to the table and in, in positions uh, of being able to make decisions. Our society is also currently experiencing a transition in the digital uh, green economy area. However, we need to ensure that digital technologies don't consume more energy than they save. Uh, do you have any good practices in Slovenia in this field? Uh, yes, in Slovenia we believe uh, that uh, digital and green go hand in hand. Uh, so we were working uh, a lot uh, on this topic uh, in the past years. Uh, for example, I would like to share a very good example using Internet of Things in the agricultural sector. Uh, using Internet of Things so uh, we can reduce our carbon foot, uh, footprint. Uh, in addition, we can uh, uh, reduce the use of uh, phytopharmacy uh, in the agriculture. We know that this is very important in the agricultural sector, not only in Europe, but also worldwide. And another very good example uh, is a new modern data center we plan to build now in Slovenia. Uh, the building will be built from the sediments of a river. Uh, the data center will be uh, at the island uh, in the river, so we will use the water of the river for cooling the whole data center. And um, uh, waste, uh, the heat waste will be used to heat a residential building, so we are very proud of that one. 
Now, it's a, been a while since we all met up together, since, uh, since we were able to have physical meetings like this. Uh, I know that uh, you're, you're here for a limited amount of time, about, and, and of course we appreciate your presence. I really wanted to find out, uh, you know, was it worth coming to, uh, to Bucharest here for this meeting, and, uh, and what do you hope will come, come from it? Definitely. So ITU is a very important organization. Uh, this year is 30 years of membership for Slovenia. We are very proud of that. Uh, during that time, uh, we uh, believe that uh, we went a long way uh, to connect our citizens to make sure that uh, the Internet is available for everybody. Uh, we believe that uh, we are not that strong uh, to do all this work on our own. So uh, we are committed to the partnership of ITU. We would like to share best practices with would like to learn from uh, other uh, member countries as well uh, and uh, meetings in person are better than virtual even though we're digital ministers here. Well, Minister, thank you so much for joining us in the studio and hopefully we'll get to catch up with you soon and hear some more success stories from Slovenia. Thanks a lot for inviting me. Thank you.